Hi guys and welcome to Vinci 3D uh, Logo Creator. This is a uh, desktop uh, software for creating uh, 3D logos. The thing that you will notice immediately is that it takes a lot of processing power so everything on your uh, laptop, uh, computer, PC, Mac uh, slows down because, uh, because of this. So just something uh, to keep in mind. Uh, the first thing you see here uh, on the left when you uh, enter the dashboard are the actual uh, the templates. Uh, the templates will start immediately as you uh, click on them. We have a dominoes here. Over here at the top we have a save project, save as project. You can open your project. You have asset store which is I believe already available. You have settings. In the settings I would suggest using the uh, lowest quality or low qual quality here. And this is just for the preview, this is not for, uh, you know, the rendered video, the final product. This is just for the preview that you are seeing right now on the screen here. I suggest low, low quality settings because, um, uh, because it will be faster to uh, operate the software because uh, my laptop uh, actually slows down even at the low settings. Okay, so we have your templates here. You can uh, re record the video here, this means that it will be rendered. You can capture a snapshot or you can just play it, play it again to see what the template uh, looks like. Right now I have about 15 templates and there are 50 more. That's 5-0 more templates to come. So far, uh, I can't say really I'm, you know, I like them all that much. Uh, because, uh, probably because it's a low quality or something, but I'm not too impressed with them. And I'm gonna go uh, over to the settings right now. Uh, you can, uh, you can uh, insert your own image. You can switch to text and it will, uh, you can, you know, write text instead of the image. Uh, it's barely seeable here, but it's over here. And you also have user integration, you just have to put in your public key and the token key. And that's it. Okay, so let me just upload a little, uh, a little uh, logo animation that I made um, previously. Okay, so here we go. This is the logo I made for a local business. You can change all of the colors here, but that's the problem because uh, when you change these colors, you have to go to animations. Then you have here the background color, the engine left part color from zero till I think there are like eight parts of this little uh, cylinder like machine thingies over here. And every time you change the color, you have to play the video again to see, you know, what's going on. And that's a bit annoying, you know, you can't pause it and then change the colors to see what you are changing. Another thing is when you change the color over here, you might see there is no code. There is no code for that color. White is usually like six Fs or something like that. You have these numbers here, so you cannot just copy the code and paste it on, you know, the other uh, cylinder-like thingy that's on the right. So you can't match the colors like that. You have to like actually remember these uh, numbers here and then type them again on the right part of the. Of the logo so that's a little bit annoying I, I you know I would suggest just having the code here you can copy copy and paste it on uh, on, on each side so it's uh, like symmetrical and uh, looks the same you know that's just my opinion on it perhaps somebody likes this but I find it a little bit uh, non non so you have to change the color play the video again to see what the heck you changed you know <laughs> okay uh, after in the effects over here you have this bloom effect you will see the difference you can just turn it on and off you have the blur effect, the color correction. I'm not gonna go into all of that, but just you know, too many options here. You can see how slow this is scrolling down. I have to grab the navigation bar over here and just pull it down to, uh, you know, uh, increase the speed. Uh, you have the contrast enhance, contrast stretch, uh, create shading over here. You just you can just turn it on and off to see what it does. You have edge detection, uh, global fog, <laughs> all kinds of cool stuff. The grayscale, motion blur. This is grayscale turned on and off. Motion blur on and off. Noise and grain. What else do we have? We have noise and scratches and all kinds of settings for that. I mean, the settings are, you know, insane. You can edit anything you want here. Of course, this means you will spend more time actually creating uh, the logo. It's not like videos enter your, you know, image uh, and name, and it will create it for you. But on the other hand, this gives you definitely more editing uh, options. You have the sepia tone here, vignette, and chromatic, and so on. All kinds of, you know, 
you can also change the, the, the image itself that you have entered. You can you know, rotate it on X and Y and Z uh, axis. Also, this is a cool feature over here, these lights. You have 3D lights here. This is the, it says, you know, right side, the front, the top. And then you can select like a uh, light. So if I select this light, that means it's this corner over here, top right corner. And you can choose like color, let's say something red that we'll perhaps notice. Then you can increase the intensity, see it changes into red. So that's cool. You know, you have all kinds of editing options here. It just will take you more time to. And for perhaps, you know, I have this red color over here, this one. And let's say I want the exact same color on this light over here. I have to like type in 200, 12, 12 over here if I want the same color. That's what I'm, you know, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So I have to go here and type in 200 and then 12, 12 over here. In the main settings over here, you can of course restore the main settings. This is the rotation I mentioned for the the logo over here. And you can just reset it. Uh, the scale, you can scale your image, this image over here, right here. You can scale it, uh, you know, increase the width and the uh, height. Um, this I had issues with. You should be able to clear the background, you know, you insert the image and video. For me, this didn't work because I inserted the MP4 video, which is not supported, the uh, MOV is supported. But once I have entered the MOV, it actually uh, had an error and uh, uh, the program even crashed a couple of times. That's my experience on it. But I have uh, reported this error to support and they are uh, working on it. A bunch of more settings over here uh for you know the size of the plane and the video the, the image and the video the, you can change the animation speed so you can uh you've seen the speed that, that it's at if i go over here and click play it will be much faster and you see how much faster this is you can also this is a cool feature you can also cut the different parts of the animation so if i go over here it will start a lot earlier. You can remove these things so you can see the entire screen. Perhaps you haven't noticed that it started earlier, but let's say we can end it earlier. I'm sure you will notice that one. Let's start it again. As you can see, it didn't, it didn't finish. So you can edit it uh, the start and the end of the video uh, like this. A very cool feature, very useful in my opinion. Uh, it's sort of like you are cropping the video. Uh, this is the delay before animation, similar as in uh, explained you for perhaps and delay after the animation. So if you set this to three seconds, it will like hold the uh, animation uh, for three seconds after it has uh, come to an end. Uh, that pretty much covers it uh, for uh, the settings part. Uh, it's cool that it has uh, these all different settings options, but it will increase the time that you are, uh, you know, creating a video. You can actually, you know, just log in here and, you know, select some template over here, boom. So, and just uh, click, you know, record video to render it, and that's it. This is some sort of glitch, I don't know what this is. But, um, let's play this one, hello world. I think after the button is pressed, it will, yeah, show the logo like this. And this hello world should should disappear. I think you can edit that in the setting. There are 50 more templates coming after you have uh, you know created your video like you want it. You go to record video. You select your time frame. Uh, it goes uh, up to 60 frames per second because the human eye cannot uh, you know detect uh, above 60 frames per second. So let's say I choose uh, 40, and the video resolution goes from 720p, 180p. Uh, 1440p and 4k. I'm just gonna play a video that I have created so you can see what it looks like. Okay, here we go and play. And there you go. Perhaps I could, you know, speed it up a bit. This is very slow. But it's just a demonstration of uh, you know what the video looks like after you have created it. Uh, I think I've chosen 1440p for uh, this uh, video. Okay, so let me just pause that. I think that was slow because the Vinci 3D is actually still running. 
uh, and that probably slows the uh, the video playing uh, considerably. Uh, this is just to show you what uh, you know my uh, laptop is operating on. So you can see the processor here, the installed memory, the RAMs, the system type, and all that. Uh, so it slows down my uh, uh, my laptop very much. So and these are the uh, uh, operating system that my laptop is running on. Um, so you can probably expect, unless you have a stronger machine, that it will slow some operations down on your computer. And it is advisable that you shut all other programs off when you are doing this. And of course, then turn them on after you have done. I'm going to show you some more templates that are here. Remember, there are uh, 50 more coming. I'm just going to show you some so you can see what you have inside. I'm not sure about the OTO guys. I'm not sure what uh, this is like. <laughs> Horrible. I have to remove this. Uh, I'm not sure uh, what the OTOs are bringing. Uh, probably, um, I think there will be some like effects. You can add some effects here, custom effects, and probably buy them on the marketplace. Okay, guys, let me play you some more templates. And then that's it for this review. I hope you liked it. And I will see you next time. I'm just gonna play. This one was the tunnel, the falling circles. This one is nice. Let's see what else we have. Statistics. Yeah, you can change all these names, the text here. Boom. Then we have cubes from logo. And yeah, you can add uh, an image to each and every one of these cubes. We have a coin template over here. That's cool. And I wanted to show you the clock here. Okay. And I just got the word that this uh, asset store will be, op will be opened in about two or three weeks. Not sure what will be inside, but I just got a message for that. Okay, so that's it for this review. Hope you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.